welcome. This is Ageless John. Today I'll be talking mostly about the main window. So first, to begin, we're going to open up and create a uh, basic project. Uh, we're just going to click through all the new project and all the default things. Just click through just to get started. All right, eventually it'll begin and end building. You get this error, just go down here where the little X is, click, and it goes away. Well, now that you've got your project created and it's just a generic project, you're looking at the main window, this right here. Now, the very top is the menu bar. Uh, and this contains most of the performing tasks uh, within Android Studio. And just directly below that is the toolbar. And this is actually a collection of shortcuts and uh, things for frequently performed actions. Uh, the tool buttons uh, provide a quicker uh, access to uh, different groups of menu bar actions. The toolbar can actually be customized by right clicking on the bar and selecting the customize menus toolbar uh, menu options. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Directly below the toolbar is the navigation bar, this area right here. The navigation bar uh, gives you a way to move around quickly and easily among the files and folders that make up the project. If you click on any element in the navigation bar, uh, a drop-down menu uh, listing the subfolders and files at location uh, will open up ready for selection. Um, this actually provides an alternative to the uh, project tool window. And since I've mentioned it, we'll talk about the project tool window right here next. It provides a hierarchical overview of the project and the file structures. Um, this allows you to navigate to specific locations and files. Um, there is a, a drop down menu in the toolbar that can be used to uh, display the project in a number of different ways. Uh, the default setting is the Android view, which is what you're looking at now. Uh, which we will be using uh, throughout the, this tutorial. Directly to the right is the editor window. The editor window will show you the contents of the file on which you are currently working. What gets displayed in here is um, subject to uh, the context. Uh, when you're working with code, for example, uh, the code editor will appear. When you're working with the user uh, layout files, uh, the user interface design tools will appear. So it depends what you're working with, what appears here. Uh, there will be multiple files open in this area and each is represented by these little tabs at the top. And you can click on each to uh, switch between the different views. Finally, on the bottom, you'll see the status bar. Now the status bar will show you different informational messages about the project and the activities uh, that you're working with in Android Studio. You'll also notice that there's a some tool menu buttons located in the left corner down here. A lot of these fields are interactive and it will allow you to uh, click uh, to perform tasks or obtain more detailed status information. And that is a very basic outline of the interactive parts of Android Studio. Now there are two more things that I want to uh, cover in this uh, very introductory part uh, that I think are going to be uh, helpful and fun for everyone. Well, first of all, some people may not like this theme. I know that uh, a lot of people have a preference to uh, darker colors. Uh, and if you want to, you can go into File, Settings, Appearance, and just click on Theme over to Dracula and it will change it to this darker colored theme. I'm not gonna use this um, because I personally do prefer um, the lighter settings. Uh, you can also switch it over to Windows, which will set up uh, to the faults on your windows of your machine. Another thing that I highly suggest that you check out is under help and check default key map reference. And what that's gonna do is that is going to uh, bring up this window that will allow you to open or download this file right here and this is amazing I don't actually I'm not actually going to use any of these on my tutorial um, because you know 
pushing a combination of a keys is not exactly conducive to having a really clear understanding of, uh, from a, your perspective as to what's going on. So I'm not going to use these. But in your own personal use, and these can become extremely useful. I know some people really, really, really like hotkeys, and some people don't care for them. But if you're one of those people who likes hotkeys, this right here uh, is all the hotkeys uh, that you can can be found in the this product. So very useful. Um, that was, those are the two things I wanted to show you. And one other thing that I want to talk about: uh, you don't have to do this on your machine. But what I'm going to do in order to make things easier to understand and read is I'm going to click on this little icon right here and I'm going to uncheck device frame. That makes this a little bit bigger, a little bit easier for you to read on your computers. Um, and uh, I'm going to use it that way. So anyway, those are some uh, hints and suggestions that I have for you. Uh, thank you for joining me. And next time we'll get a little bit more in detail on some of these menus. Um, in fact, if you're not interested in details on these menus, you may want to skip over the next couple of tutorials. Uh, just a suggestion uh, and go, go right into the less detail oriented uh, instructions. So, so this has been Ace John. Thank you for joining me and I uh, hope to see you back next time. As always, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up.